Hello traders, uh, I would like to talk about uh, how to use uh, the MACD indicator on the 5 minute chart with a chart pattern MACD 12, 26, 9. As you can see, as I always say before, the trend line here is broken with this uh, uh, huge uh, red candle. But I always say to uh, everyone that uh, if you see the price falling too fast like this, you have to uh, reassess your 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 entry because uh, you may be late for the party as I, as as to speak you know so the next thing to do is to wait for the the nearest support level to be uh, broken before you enter uh, your position here as you can see this uh, support level here if you follow my cursor here has been broken by this candle here so we sell and we look for the next support level to take our profit and there was no much support level in our view right now so the price uh, uh, managed to come down nicely you see there was no much support on the way so it just went down hoo, 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 all the way here and like i said i'm talking about the magdi on five minutes chart so trend is broken price went fast down we we'll reassess our entry wait for the price to break the support level here because the MACD uh, was a bit late and the price fell, fell so fast you know so we don't want to be late to the party so it finally it break it here and MACD was looping down below its signal line below the water line the zero line and the price is falling here also the price displayed a lower high it was a high here and a lower high a lower low lower high and we sell again the price fell further down if you move uh, up more you will see here the price display a very bullish uh, uh, chart pattern on five minute chart this is uh, a support level here being uh, retested here and uh, validating this support level here might be cross here because we are on the under the water line we have to be very careful and respect the nearest resistance level and the price pay us a bit more and we get out quickly here now there was another retest of the same level this level here has been retested here it has been retested here. it's the third time this is i mean the second time being retested so the magic cause again a bogey signal line rising cross the water line we buy and we respect the resistance the nearest resistance level and we get out quickly because we are on five minutes chart we don't want to be too long there and then uh, lose our profit no 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 now here again as you can see there was a support level here being validated here and then what as you can see MACD was a bit late here you see where the MACD was crossing that's where a lot of people criticize MACD but before MACD crosses it was rising can you see it was rising before it crossed but in this situation like I always say when the MACD is below the water line any bullish signals must be taken from the price you must take the bullish signal from the price. Do not take a bullish signal from MACD when MACD is bull below the waterline. You take the bullish signal from the price itself. Very, very important. Because so the price displayed the support here, validate that support here. We have also used your trend line here, draw it here. As you can see, this trend line is broken. Even though MACD is still below the waterline, but it's rising a bit and we are rewarded nicely from this session nicely here you, you see so double top magic cross support and break we sell magic cross here this was a good signal here now as we move forward we will look carefully because we want to understand how we can use this magic on the on family chart when you are trading on family chart we want to use the number one indicator which is the price itself so here we have a support level, a resistance level here. Very interesting subject here because the resistance is broken now. You see, this resistance level is broken with this uh, huge green candle being retested here. But what the price did, it did not continue the upward movement. It just went down. What's that? That's a failure of the breakout. A real good failure. The failure of the signal can be a signal, you see, because we were prepared to buy here. Maybe we lost money because we placed our, we want to buy here, 
and then continue because this this resi support level is, is is this resistance level is broken we want to buy and it has been retested here but look the price went down which show us that there is the failure of this uh, support level here, right here but at the same time if you look carefully macd was turning around here macd was turning around if you look very carefully you will see that macd was turning around here this section here was turning around and caused below the signal and when this candle break this support line here this red candle break this support line here we notice something also that this uh, this uh, trend line is broken you see so we can sell because macd also cross below its signal line and sloping downward nicely and we just sell simple we don't wait for anybody else or anything else it's just simple like i said before the validation of the support and resistance line are the key to successful trading this resistance line has been validated here look magdi was showing some dodgy signals here wasn't very clear but we follow the price we sell and we dis we will decide to come out at this support here we check our uh, reward risk ratio if you are satisfied with it we want to take this trade we decide it's up to you if you don't want to take you go walk away there will be another chance of course we don't want to take every signal you know we don't want to get out every peep out of the market here again as you can see this is a very nice signal here very nice signal because when magdi is above the waterline and give a clear uh, uh, bullish signal you must take it why because it's above the waterline which is a bullish zone it's the bullish zone above the waterline is a bullish zone so you are looking for opportunity to buy when magdi is above the waterline so unless magdi slope is turning negative so here magdi as you can see magdi did something very interesting here magdi break its resistance level here as you can see break this resistance level here if you pay attention i don't know whether you can see clearly what's going to draw horizontal line here um, now uh, i'll draw a resist uh, this uh, resistance level here on magdi magdi break it when above rising cross above its signal line when magdi is still above the water line and at the same time the, the price also was breaking its uh, resistance line. Magdi is breaking its resistance line. Price also breaking its resistance line. You see, both of them, look at the price. It just went up nicely. Both of them breaking their resistance line. You know, it just went up nicely. Magdi breaking its resistance line. Price breaking resistance line. All of them just going up nicely here. Very quick profit nicely here. Quick profit. In half an hour, you are rewarded nicely. This is a GBP, JPY currency pair, the most volatile currency pair uh, the, the the pound and yen currency pair here guys you can see there's a top here another top here double top magd crop but look magd was just going everywhere but if you pay attention to the price first you won't be hurt at all you won't be hurt because you're following the price double top is here and it is the validation or resistance level you sell and you take your profit at the next support level here there's a support here being validated here you see you buy here you see and you take your profit at the next resistance level you see but magdi was not very clear here you see it's just going everywhere up and down up and down like this not very clear because it's a laggish uh, indicator but you have to understand what magdi is doing because what's happening here we are in a uh, a quiet market you know so you're following the price if you follow the price here and respect this you make money all the way here you follow the price for the price here you make money all the way here so the number one indicator here is the price i hope you learned something from uh, this uh, video until the uh, next time have a